Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, it's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 28th of November. We do these every day, twice a day, but everybody really watches on uh, days where snowflakes could fly, and we've got some out there this afternoon up in northwest Alabama. Let's take a look out the window from the Alpha SkyCam Network. We'll start with a view coming from Hamilton High School, and really it's hard to see, but uh, we've clearly got some uh, uh, snowflakes in that mix with light rain, but obviously with temperatures above freezing, we have no issues there in terms of travel or Anything else? That's the Coleman Sky Cam light rain. Again, a little bit of sleet mixed in in spots based on reports. And uh, there's downtown Haleyville in Winston County. And if we see some snow on the ground, I think it's going to be the Hamilton Haleyville cameras and points north. And even those streets ought to be just wet. We got to find us some grass down there to find a, a decent shot at getting some snow on the ground because uh, uh, the soil conditions are just so warm and the infrastructure is warm as well. All right, there's the upper low, the much-discussed coal core. Moving through north Mississippi, right on track, headed northeast. There's a look at the mesoanalysis this afternoon. The coldest temperatures at 500 millibars, minus 27 Celsius. That's cold. And uh, that cold pocket is over uh, the central and western part of Mississippi, over toward the Delta. That'll be lifting northeast, and underneath that, there will be dynamic cooling. You know, there's no Arctic air involved here. This thing is literally making its own cold air. And uh, again, it's pretty much right on forecast. Uh, there's the radar at 128, and a lot of that is uh, just light rain. In some cases, mixed with some light sleet and light snow. And temperatures are well above freezing. You see that? Those are 1 o'clock observations. The coldest spot, Haleyville at 36. Over in Columbus and Tupelo, you got 39. Birmingham at 40. And we'll see numbers just kind of sitting there pretty much throughout the night. But where the heavier snow falls, the numbers will come down. But even up in northwest Alabama, more than likely, temperatures will stay above the freezing mark. So no bridge icing or anything like that. Just kind of wet maybe slushy roads up in northwest Alabama, and certainly we don't expect any travel problems down here, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. There's your watch warning map, and uh, you got, the Weather Service has got a winter weather advisory down below Interstate 20. Uh, you know, I, that's awfully marginal. The big issues will be northwest Alabama, and there's a winter storm watch for those uh, blue counties there in northeast Mississippi and southern uh, middle Tennessee, and and the heavier rain access, a flash flood watch for parts of eastern Tennessee down into uh, north Georgia. Check the uh, latest modeling from the RPM on the snow accumulation. This is the high-resolution look, valid uh, for the next 27 hours. It's got the 2 to 4-inch numbers, extreme northwest Alabama, up into western Tennessee. And again, it, the ground is warm, and it, I don't think we see that much, but I think that's about the, the correct placement this is the HPC look here. This is the chance of getting over one inch of snow. The higher probabilities are really centered around Muscle Shoals and Florence up in northwest Alabama. Might be a little farther north than that. And again, our forecast has not changed. That's our thinking. One to four inches. Uh, northwest Alabama, Marion, Winston, Franklin, Colbert, Lauderdale, maybe parts of Limestone and Lawrence. Uh, and again, back into the adjacent parts of Tennessee and Mississippi. That seems to be the sweet spot. And, you know, there might be a spot near with more than four inches on the grass, but uh, the roads ought to be just wet and slushy. And down this way, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, a dusting on grassy areas. Uh, again, no real change in our thinking. But having said all that, you know my disclaimer, cold core upper lows will probably bring a surprise. What will it be? We'll find out in the morning. But, again, everything you see, the confidence, as best we know now, is pretty high. So uh, let's look at the uh, modeling. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. The upper low is lifting northeast away from here. Still, though, it's going to be kind of a rotten day. Uh, cloudy, cold, some light rain or light snow in the morning. Temperatures kind of holding steady in the 40s all day. But Wednesday, things ought to be better. Uh, the sky becomes mostly sunny. After some maybe some morning clouds, we'll forecast clearing, and the high should be in the low 50s. Thursday, beautiful. The GFS is showing 56, and Friday, how about 63? Sounds much better. And again, the sky should be bright and sunny. Saturday starting off the weekend looks good, low 60s. 
Sunday, pretty much the same deal, but we note uh, the rain to the west. This is noon Sunday, so it looks like rain could slip in here Sunday night as we wrap up the weekend. And Monday of next week, ooh, it's a phased trough, long wave west of the state, and that's going to push a batch of rain in here, and it's cold behind that thing. That's a 1,032 millibar high. And uh, we go to Tuesday of next week, the 6th. Still got the trough axis hanging around, and that's cold. Uh, if this is right, uh, Tuesday of next week, we would not get out of the 40s. Kind of like the stuff today, but no precipitation to deal with. Check the end of the forecast, December 14th. Ah, nothing overly interesting. Deep upper low below San Diego. Trough approaching the Pacific Northwest. Trough moving off the East Coast. We're in between all of that, and if that's right by chance, it would be a nice day. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this via YouTube or iTunes. The next video here by tomorrow morning at 7. And if you live around these parts, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.